Hi there, this is uh, Ranjit and in this uh, video, uh, we are going to set this uh, Samsung Galaxy A50 and what I have noticed in recent Samsung smartphones is that uh, uh, I won't uh, call them technically ads but I've seen unwanted notifications and stuff uh, coming and also if you don't set it properly yes you might see some ads like stuff I've so noticed that with the M series and I also had the Samsung Galaxy S10 plus and here also I was getting unnecessary notifications here but you can actually uh, disable it and I'm going to show you how and this will be applicable for all the new A series M series and stuff so let's uh, look at it so guys this is the A50 and let's set it up let's just uh, select whatever country you want and uh, from here uh, this is important again you'll get this and notice that many users just click on this and just go about it you should not do that notice that you're checking the receipt of marketing information that means it can send you ads and stuff remove that also just for privacy reasons I'm, uh, I'm going to uncheck the information linking and even the diagnostic data and stuff so uh, these are the things that I would uncheck let's go to the next option now and uh, obviously this is nothing just your wi-fi setup or whatever uh, i'll just skip that for now we can transfer data if you have existing smart uh, samsung smartphone i'll just connect to the wi-fi and then we'll move to the next step and as you can see this is important here we have some additional apps uh, that we have uh, so again uh, uncheck if you don't want anything uh, for example uh, i don't want samsung notes i can just remove that if you can see this and you can uncheck uh, whatever you want for example samsung members i don't want i don't even want to use the samsung internet browser because i generally use chrome so just remove the unnecessary stuff that you uh, are not going to use for example i never use samsung email i use gmail so uh, these are the stuff and i'm just going to hit ok and as you can see we get this uh, get recommended apps many of the users actually don't give a thought to it i'm just going to sk skip this you can also log in with your samsung account i'm just going to skip this and all this for now you can enable it uh, because i had done that on my galaxy s10 plus uh, okay this is important uh, in a hurry uh, you just click finish and this is a new thing that i've noticed with samsung phones even on this a50 m20 m30 we have this locked screen stories disable this what this is doing is actually giving us random wallpapers but some of the wallpapers randomly actually are looking like uh, ads so uncheck that and just hit finish and now it's going to do its regular stuff uh, but there is also one more setting i feel that you need to again as you can see now it uh, says discover and install a uh, third party apps and many of you just hit continue like this and uh, bring your old data i am or whatever i'm going to skip this and as you can see again a lot of apps are actually pre-checked here so uncheck all these apps as you can see if you really are planning to use any of the apps enable it but i would frankly uncheck the, all these apps and if i really want some app i will install it directly from the google play store so hit this and now uh, also, this is another thing that you have to make note. You notice this checkbox. I love uh, Iron Source to make recommendation of new apps and interest. I'm going to uncheck that also because that also gives you some unnecessary notifications. I'm going to hit finish. And now we are set. But again, we aren't finished. Let it load. There is also one more uh, Samsung built in app, and this sort of gets activated if you are using a Samsung account. Uh, so just open the app tray and this is app is known as the my galaxy app and this will uh, actually send you unnecessarily uh, notifications news notifications etc here and it fills up your notification area so again disable this app hit this and disable it and now you are sort of good to go and if you do all these things you will not see ads on your samsung phone uh, for example i had used this m uh, what do you say this a50 for over a week and i had done the steps and i never encountered the issues of ads or whatever uh, so again i hope this video is sort of helpful and this is applicable for all the a series m series and even if you have the samsung galaxy s series at least in india you can enable these settings and hopefully then you will not see any ads anyways guys that's it for now thanks for watching and if you guys found this video helpful i'll appreciate if you can click the like button and if you are not subscribed hit the subscribe button this is ranjit and i hope to see you in my next video take care guys